Hello, welcome to our 31 day May meditation challenge. I'm so glad that you joined us. My name is Marisa Ramsire of Essential Wellness and I'm gonna be walking you through kind of the basics of what's to be expected this month and how to set yourself up for meditation. And then the way it's gonna go is the beginning of each week, you're gonna get a, an email from me. Um, it's most likely gonna be a video kind of like this and I'll walk you through the meditation for that week. And then you'll consecutively do that meditation for the seven days. And then the next week we'll have a different one. And we're gonna cover about five different types of meditation. So you can get a taste of the different ways to meditate and see which one best fits you. And you'll also notice some of the meditation um, are based for, say you're really stressed out, you would wanna do a very relaxing meditation. And so that will be week three. If you kind of have a monkey mind or your mind scattered, then you would do wanna, wanna do more of a focused meditation. And so we'll cover that in the second week. So let me know if you have questions about any of that, but it should be straightforward in the emails. And if you were not to maybe receive one of the emails, check your spam folder. Um, but also, you know, contact me on social media or through one of the previous emails so that I can get it taken care of for you. To set up for meditation, as you can see, I'm just sitting in our living room. I actually purposely did not put on my yoga stuff today, and I'm just in jeans because I want you to feel like you can meditate anywhere, anytime. A lot of my meditations have taken place in the car line waiting for my kids at pickup because it's quiet, I have no distractions, and I can just close my eyes and spend a few moments to collect myself and get present before I step into the role of mom again. So if you are seated in a chair, say in your car or a chair at your home, you just wanna make sure that everything is relaxed and somewhat supported. So hands can be palms down, they can be palms up. A lot of times if they're palms up, you're allowed to, it allows you to pull your shoulders back a little bit more. Um, and you're just going to close your eyes and sit with a really nice tall spine as you inhale, your spine elongates, and you just get really present and notice kind of what's flowing around there in your mind. The next thing is if you're going to be seated on the floor, you want your hips higher than your knees. So I have a yoga pillow here that I sometimes sit on, or a meditation pillow, and my hips are higher than my knees, and I just sit comfortably like this. If you don't have one of those, you could just grab some pillows from your couch and sit on those. You just want to be comfortable and have your hips higher than your knees. So this is the calendar that you're going to be getting or that you got with your email. This you can print out, check off the days that we do it. And over here, it just kind of covers the different meditations that we're going to be doing. So the basic meditation is going to be day one through four, and that's just covering the basics of meditation. Again, how to sit, the breathing, and I walk you through that for five minutes. The next week is going to be more of a focused meditation. So if you have, you know, like I said, scattered mind and you want to kind of be more grounded, we're going to sit and we're going to focus on at this particular time. We're going to focus on some music, some sounds that are coming from music. The next week we have a body scan. This one's really fun. You can do this lying down or seated. And I just walk you through a body scan from your toes to your head and it really, really calms the nervous system. So that's a really neat one to do. And then we have a mantra based meditation. So I will help you pick a mantra that you will repeat over and over again as you're sitting, focusing and getting present. And the last one is mindfulness. And I don't want to say it's tricky, but it seems to be one of the harder ones because our mind freely jumps from thing to thing. And with the mindfulness one, you bring everything back to center and alignment. And so after practicing, those first four meditations, it will be a lot easier for you. So that's why I put that one at the end. Um, and let's see, I will answer any questions you have. I'm gonna put this in the Facebook group, Essential Wellness with Marisa, so we can get a dialogue going there. If you have questions, you can post there too. And send friends along, they can sign up for the link and get the calendar and join us on any day. They don't have to start on the first day, they can join us on May 15th if they want. So I'm glad you're here and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you on day one. Namaste.